In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a simple animated split screen with a color mat and text on one side and a reframe video on the other. All right, so this video is a tutorial in response to Utopia Dweller who asked a question on my split screen animations video. And basically they just wanted me to show how to make a video that goes from a talking head full frame to a 50-50 split between a color mat and the person talking so that they can put text over the color mat side. All right, so here I have a talking head video clip. The first thing you're gonna do is move it up to, I like to go to the third layer up here, and then we're gonna put in a color mat underneath. So to do that, you go over to your project files over here, and you click on this like dark line, and you move it over until you see this little thing here, new item, this like little box with the folded corner. Click on it and go up to color mat. When this thing comes up, just click OK because that just matches the current dimensions of your video. Then you just pick your color, right? This is saturation, so no saturation, full saturation, dark, bright, and then the color that you want right here. Or you can use the color picker and pick something from your scene. So I'm just gonna do that, click on this, and I'm just gonna pick this like pink right there. And then I'm gonna click OK. When this comes up, just name it, I'll just call it pink, click OK, and then it's gonna show up within your project files over here. Just click it and drag it underneath and stretch it out. So go to the end of it and stretch it so it goes under the entire clip. Next, we're just gonna click on our clip, go up to effects and type in transform. So right here, transform, you're gonna drag transform under distort onto there first and then go to crop and drag crop onto your clip as well. They're gonna show up over here in your effect controls. If we slide down right here, transform and crop right here. If you don't see your effect controls, just go up to window and down to effect controls right there. And these are the two things we're gonna animate. So the first one we're gonna animate is actually crop and make sure that you have transform above crop over here. If you don't click on it and drag it up or down to flip them around. Okay, so for crop, we are gonna animate this from left to right. So the reason why we have the color mat underneath is because we're actually gonna animate our main clip right here to just reveal this color underneath. So I'm gonna go to the point where I want the reveal to start happening. So this is where I want it to start because right now it's full frame and we're gonna crop it off. And we're gonna go over here and down to crop on left and just hit this toggle animation, this little clock thing, that'll put a keyframe in. And then we're gonna move over to where we want the animation to end. So I'm just gonna go over to about here, that's fine. And now I'm gonna click this one right here, boom, and that adds another keyframe. So this is where our animation is gonna start and this is where it's gonna end. At the start, obviously, we want zero cropped because that's where it's the full frame. So then we go click this little arrow thing to jump between keyframes. So I'm gonna to go to this one, and now I'm just gonna type in 50%, so 50%, and that crops it. But obviously you don't have to do 50%. If you want it a little bit less, then just go 40%, and you'll see that the reveal of the color mat will be smaller. And if you want more, go, let's say 60%, and the color mat will be bigger, leaving less room for the video. Okay, so that's the how we reveal the color, but now we have a problem because it's sliced, in theory, it sliced the video in half. So how do we fix that? Well, we're gonna go up to transform. So under transform, we're gonna use the exact same two spots in our video. So at this keyframe right here, make sure this blue thing is highlighted there, go up and for position, hit the clock to toggle animation for position under transform. Then go back down, hit this arrow thing to go back to the first keyframe, slide back up and add a keyframe right there. So now we have one to start the animation here and end it there for position. So what are we doing? Well, if we jump forward, basically all we're gonna do is click for position. This right here, if you click on the left number, 960 for me, if you click and slide to the right, it'll move it right and then left, left. This would move it up and down. So I'm just gonna click and move this over and reframe it so it's in the spot that we want. So now if we watch it, if I go back, it'll animate, boom, the color will come in and it'll reframe so that the talking head is still in our new frame over here. 
And then obviously on this side, this leaves us space to put whatever text we want. So we can go over to our type tool right here within our tools and just click. And I'm just gonna add in, this is where you add your text. If you wanna edit it, I'm not gonna go through all this, but just highlight it. Go over to Essential Graphics over here. If you don't see Essential Graphics, go to Window, down to Essential Graphics. And I'm just gonna play around with a couple things here. So the scale is right there. I'm gonna scale it up. I'm gonna right align it. And then these are the ones to move it up or down, left and right. So I'm gonna click here and move it over to the right, about right there. Instead of moving this up and down, I'm just gonna use this one. It puts it right in the middle. And if you wanted to change your font and stuff, it's down here. Maybe you wanted to change your color and stroke and stuff, that's all right there. But I am just gonna click away. And if you notice, it added this, the text graphic right here above. So you could animate this into as well, right? Because right now, if I stretch this out, it's just gonna either start on and then move it over, or it'll animate in and then just pop in. So if you wanted that, that's fine. Just line it up exactly where you want it to show up. So maybe exactly when it stops moving, you could have it just start right there, boom, and pop in. Or if you wanted to animate it, just stretch it out and use the keyframe spots from these animations on your clip. So we would go down, um, clicked on the clip right now, him, in transform or in crop, and then just use the arrows to find that keyframe spot, then go back to your text and just use position, it's probably fine here, toggle on animation, go back to your clip, go down to crop or whatever again, click the arrow to find the other one, and then click here and add another keyframe. So now on this first keyframe here, you can animate it in however you want. So let's just assume I click on this and move the position off the frame over here. So now when we watch it, it's gonna slide in kind of with the color mat essentially. But the reason why I like to move the clip onto the third layer is because I think this looks just fine if you just drop it underneath. And if I click on this toggle animation to get rid of That'll get rid of my keyframes, boom, they're gone. And if you tuck it underneath, now it's basically being revealed with the color mat. So we're watching and it's already in place. It's just a little bit easier and the text just gets revealed behind. So you can animate it in or just slide it in the middle and it'll be revealed along with your color. And then obviously if you want this clip to be full frame again, just do everything in reverse. So I'm gonna click back on my clip I'm gonna slide down here to crop. I'm just gonna say it happens right here. Click on a keyframe. In this case, I'd probably go up and just click one right away there as well. Then I'd find where I want it to be back full frame. So let's say right there, click a keyframe and click a keyframe. Then all you have to do this time is hit this little back arrow. So reset parameter on the last one. So reset parameter and go up here and reset parameter. So then if we watch this, it'll be, boom, he's talking. Then we wanna add some words in the color mat to the side, it comes in when he's done, boom, and it just animates back. At this point, there's one last thing we're gonna to do to our project to enhance our transitions a little bit more, which is to mess with our keyframes. If I click on this little arrow next position, you can see that right now, our transitions are linear. So if I click on any keyframe that we have right now, and then right click, go down to temporal interpolation, you can see that they're linear, which means that they happen at a constant speed. So the easiest way to change that without going too much into it is to highlight both your first two keyframes right here, and then right click, go down to temporal interpolation and select ease out, and then do that for these two as well. So I'm gonna click, drag out the box around those two, right click, temporal interpolation and ease out, and then for these other four, so these two, I'm gonna click, highlight, right click, temporal interpolation, I'm gonna go ease in. And then on this side, same thing, highlight these, right click, temporal interpolation, and ease in. So this is just gonna smooth out the transition a little bit more. If you know how to manipulate these transitions, you can go in and manually affect them as well by clicking on these little handles and changing how the uh, transition happens as well. So this is gonna go slow, and then it's, uh, the higher this is, the faster it's gonna go, and then it's gonna slowly ease in again, instead of just going one constant rate. So now when we watch it, 
It's not gonna be crazy difference for this short of an animation, but it'll just look a little bit smoother. And that's it. But if you want me to make a tutorial about something you wanna know in Premiere Pro, just leave it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do.